eight-letter word. The clue is, he's the acting mayor. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Cut Flurry. All right, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the television version of everybody's favorite game. This is a very special week here on Scrabble because every day this week we're drawing one of the cards that you sent in to the Scrabble Home Viewer Sweepstakes. So stay tuned because later on in the show we're going to draw a card. It's worth $1,000 in cash to somebody out there. Okay? We're going to meet our Scrabble Sprint champion right now, Ted Pelletier. <laughs> Did I get it? Yeah. Next time I will give you a buck if you get my name. No, tell me what it is. Pelletier. I said it exactly Pelletier, right. Pelletier, you said. You made Pelletier. too many syllables. Oh. Pelletier. I'm going to hold you to it. You got enough. You got six thousand dollars. It is with three wins, and uh, we got two new players. So Charlie's going to introduce them right now. She's a student. She's a mother. From Van Nuys, California, Nancy Bird, and from Glendora, California, Dixie Blair. All right, nice to have you both here. Charlie says that she's a student, she's a mother. Okay, how are you doing, Nancy? Good, how are you? Good, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a student at Cal State University, Northridge, where I study psychology and hope one day to be a psychologist. All right, well, good luck at that. Good Thanks luck today in the game. Hi, Dixie. Hi. Yeah, tell me about yourself, Dixie. Well, I am a mother. I have two <laughs> girls and two boys, and I'm just going to begin a new career in high financing. Good for you. Okay, you. recap real quick. It's all tied up one to one. Since uh, Nancy got the last word right, we'll go back to the board with you, Dixie. And we're going to play Scrabble. If somebody gets three words right, then that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They'll have a chance at a whole bunch of money. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. We're building on the letter S in seconds. Eight letters in the word, and the clue is, it's all over when your girlfriend kisses you. It's all over when your girlfriend kisses you. When you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares, because they're worth money. Now, you can answer this, or you can draw tiles, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I'm going to draw tiles. Okay. I'm going to take the four and the six. A C and a K. I want the C, please. It's all over when your girlfriend kisses you. Let me have the K. Now I'm going to take two more. The five and the eight, please. A P and a D. I want the D. Copper, over to you, Nancy. It's all over when your girlfriend kisses you. Okay, I think I know, but I'm going to take a tile. Go for the money. Ten, okay. please. P and an I. I'll take the I, please. $1,000. Lipstick. Yes, of course. I knew that one before a letter was placed. I had that one real quick. Good for you. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand dollars. Okay, Dixie, back to you. Here we go. Okay. Building on the letter I in lipstick, six letters in the word, and the clue is some people hike them up. Some people hike them up. Give you 500 if you can tell me what it is right now. I'm gonna go for Cliff? No, that's uh, not correct. So you have to put your four cool. back there, and uh, Nancy will get to draw. Nancy? Can you give me 500 if I I'll get give you 500 if you can tell it. me what it is. What? How about prices? Prices is exactly right. One, two, three, four. You hardly got to say hello. Well, yeah, that was real quick. Thank you, Dixie, for playing the game Thank with us. You. We enjoyed having you. Thanks. Yeah. Come on down, Nancy. Uh, Nancy has 1500 in previous earnings. She's got 1000 in bonus money right now, 500 for the game, and gives you a total of a whole lot of money. you got about 2500 bucks, something like that. Not, no, I think 3000 as a matter of fact. Anyway, we're going to play Scrabble Sprint. We'll be back to do that in just a minute. Stay with us. I missed you have $3,500 altogether. $3,500? Well, you, had, you came to the show with 15 because you're a returning disadvantaged contestant, so you had 15 <laughs> then, so altogether you have 3500 right. I forgot to give you the 500 for the last one you got. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll give it to you. Nancy Bird, 3500 Ted Pelletier. Yes. Oh, I got it. All right. Thanks, Ted. I'll take it. <laughs> 
Actually, I earned that. <laughs> okay. Ted has three wins, six thousand dollars. They're both uh, both playing for one thousand five hundred. Both play the same three words. The best time wins. And Ted, it's in that direction for you. Put him in earphones and uh, remind you to hit your plunger because that's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. First word, six letters. It's strictly for the birds. Okay. Ready? Strictly for the birds. Ready. Go. V. A. R. Y. It's strictly for the birds. A. It's strictly for the birds. Avery. No. And we can't give you the last letter, so we'll have to continue on. It's a 10-second penalty, and, and we have to continue on. It's aviary, yes. Okay. Okay. Next word, seven letters. They have a lot of hang-ups. They have a lot of hang-ups. Ready? Ready. Go. L. O. T. S. They have a lot of hang-ups. S. C. Closets. Yes. Third word, eight letters. Well, actually, the second word we'll have to count. She comes from a long line of dancers. Ready? Mm hmm. Go. R. K. T. She comes from a long line of dancers. E. Rocketer. Rocketer? Like the rocket? Oh, the rocket. Okay. The... She comes from a long line of dancers. What is it? Rocket. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to this third uh, word so we can complete three words. Seven letters. The clue is they have their dark sides. Okay. Ready? Ready. Go. U. T. K. They have their dark sides. S. E. R. They have their dark sides. Turkeys. Yes. Okay. 55.5. I don't know if you can do it. 55. 55.5, Ted. Okay. That's seconds. First word has six letters. It's strictly for the birds. It's strictly for the birds. Ready? Ready. Go. V. I. Y. It's strictly for the birds. A. R. Aviary. Second word, seven letters. They have a lot of hang-ups. They have a lot of hang-ups. Ready? Ready. Go. L. S. Closet. Yes. Third word, eight letters. Now, I must warn you, you only have 44.5 <laughs> seconds for this last word. She comes from a long line of dancers. She comes from a long line of dancers. Ready? Ready. Go. R. C. K. She comes from a long line of dancers. E. Rocket. Yeah, that's exactly right. 36.9. She had a little room to work here. Yeah. Let's see. Four wins. Uh, Six thousand uh, dollars. Add that fifteen hundred to that. You're up to seven thousand five hundred. You're doing good, kiddo. Thank you. You're doing good. One more shot at this. You'll be at five thousand or twenty thousand. Nancy. Well, it's going to be fine. Oh, you got three thousand five hundred dollars. Got a lot of money. You did great. Fine. Yeah. We're going to come right back. Five challenges to take. See you. Four wins. I'm just rolling. It rolls off the tip of my tongue now, Ted. It's just incredible. Now that I have the buck. Yeah, you're doing good. Have a chance for 20000 next time you step up there. You realize that, don't you? I you didn't do, know. Yeah. Didn't you? yeah. <laughs> Listen, right now I'd like to uh, take a moment to uh, make a very special announcement. Beginning a week from Monday, September 29th, we're going to be starting our 100000 All-American Scrabble Tournament. That's right. We've gone to the four sections of the United States. The Northeast, the Midwest, the South and West had to find contestants for this tournament, and they will all be coming here to play the grand prize of $100,000 for the All-American Scrabble Tournament. Start it, put it on your calendar. All right, <laughs> Charlie, we have two new contestants. She's a retired school teacher. He's a financial counselor. From Smithfield, Virginia, Kristen Wilda. And originally from Mobile, Alabama, Norm Fessler. All right, nice to have you both with us today. How are you, Kristen? Hi, Chad. Or it's, yeah, it is Kristen. Kristen, uh, yeah. You're, you're building a dream house yourself? 
Well, uh, my husband Mike and I are going to do as much as we can ourselves, and are then you? we'll we'll have a little extra help. But we're building a log home, a, a great big log cabin. Oh, that's you know I got to tell you I, I I'm I've always wanted that. I think that's great. It, it is. It's oh, a it's lot. Of, it, they, it comes in a kit. And I know. Yeah, yeah they're put it terrific. Together. Is this one going to be a great big one with two stories and all that? Yes, thing? two story. It's basically, it'll look like a colonial home, but it'll all be made of logs. Oh, that's great. That's great, Kristen. Yeah. Good luck today. Well, thank you. Hi, Norm. Hello, Chuck. How's it going? Uh, just fine. Thanks a lot. Good. You're a musician? What kind? Uh, well, I've actually, I started playing clarinet in the fifth grade and played all through high school and college and marching band and played in a band for a professional football team in Florida for two years. Did you? So I've uh, well, where are you going with this story now, Norm? Are you still doing it at home? Or uh, I'm in alumni band at, at my college, so oh, I still great. play. Good. Looking forward right. to football season. Good. Who won the toss backstage? I did, Chuck. All right, let's go to the board. Here we go. Building on the letter A, nine letters in the word, and the clue is, it's the best deal you can get. It's the best deal you can get. Any idea? Okay, I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to take two tiles. I'll take number one and number five. C and a K. Uh, I'd like to see, please. It's the best deal you can get. Uh, I'd like the K. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet, so let me take two more. I'll take the two and the six. L and the G. Uh, I'd like the L, please. It's the best deal you can get. Um, I think that G's a stopper, so I'm going to guess. Blackjack. Got to be right. Yeah. Blackjack. Okay, Kristen. Here we go. Building on the letter A in blackjack. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is, they have to take a shortcut to work. A lot of money involved. I'll give you 500 if you can tell me what it is right now. They have to take a shortcut to work. Gosh. You know, I'm going to take a chance. I don't know if I should do this. Good luck. Barbers? No. No. No, that's not correct. That's all right. Norm? Uh, well, actually, I don't have a guess, so oh, I better okay. take two tiles, and I'll take the one and the eight. R and the U. Uh, the R, please. They have to shake, take a shortcut to work. Uh, the U. Over to you, Kristen. Okay, my first tile, I'll take a seven, and my two little boys, take a two. E and an I. Okay, I have to take a shortcut to work. I'll try that E, Chuck. $1,000. Oh, Tell me what it is right now. They have to take a shortcut to work. I don't, but I just, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. a little early yet. Go um, ahead. I guess the I, please. All right. They have to take a shortcut to work. So easy at home. I don't believe. <laughs> a six, please, and a five. An M and a B. Which would you like to try? The um, B. Stop. It's over to you, Norm. They like to take a shortcut, or they have to take a shortcut to work. Okay. I think I need another letter, so I'll okay. take three. M and an S. Um, I'll take the S. They have to take a shortcut to work. To take the shortcut. Um, Quickly. I'll take the M. They have to take a shortcut to work. Marines. Marines, yes. Did you figure it out yet? Have you figured it out, Chris? You were on the right track with Barber. I think it, that just threw me off for yeah, the whole I know. thing. I know. That happens Well, sometimes. the barbers give them their shortcuts, well, so I was close. Well, it's two to zip. Here we go. Come on, Kristen. Okay. Building on the letter N in Marines, eight letters in the word, and the clue is, it's the hair of the dog. It's the hair of the dog. What in the world is that? You, you got me. I'll take an eight, please, and a six. A D and a U. I'll take the D. It's the hair of the dog. I'll have to take the U. Stop it. Over to you, Norm. It's the hair of the dog. Okay. I don't know yet. I'll take two tiles. The one and the seven. R and an I. I'd like the I, please. $1,000, Norm. It's the hair of the dog. I wish I knew. I'd like the money, but I, 
I just don't okay. know. I'll take the take R. The R. Stopper, it's over to you, Kristen. You can get back into this now. Only one stopper okay. left. It's the hair of the dog is the clue. I've got to do it. I'll take a four, please, and a nine. E and a D. It's the hair of the dog. Mm -hmm. I will take the E. I will take the D. Okay. It's the hair of the dog. Oh, gosh, I have one. Shedding. Shedding. There you go. All right. Get back into this thing. Two to one with Norma Head. We're going to take a short commercial break. Come right back at you. Hang on. All right, we're back. And we're going to be with you, Kristen. Building on the letter E in shedding. Five letters in the word. And the clue is, investors have often lost it in the market. Oh. <laughs> I thought I had this one. I didn't have this one. Investors have often have often lost often it in the market. Lost it in the market. Okay, I will take a six, please, and a three. A D and an E. I'll take the D. Stopper over to you, Norm. Well, I need a tile, so I'll take the one. T and an E. Uh, the T, please. Stopper, Kristen. Ooh, Stay I'm away from that third one. A, You're in good shape. There's a money card up there. Um, I'll take a seven. Lucky seven, I hope. V and an E. I'm going to take that V. Investors have often lost it in the market. Take, take the E. Right. Oh, dear. Investors have often lost it in the market. Gosh, I'm going to have to take two tiles. Okay. The two and the five. N and an N. Oh, I'll take an N. Good. <laughs> and I will guess. Nerve. Nerve, exactly right. Yeah. See, I, I couldn't get that. I was, you know what I thought of when I first saw it? Because I didn't see what I thought was building on the letter E. I thought it was money. But it wasn't money. There you go. Two two tie. We're in a speed word situation. You come back very strongly, Kristen. Uh, put your hands on your buzzers. Wait till I say go. We'll uh, put the letters in place one at a time. We'll not give you the last letter. Okay. Here we go. Whoever gets this wins the game. Building on the letter E in nerve. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is sometimes they're better than the book. Sometimes they're better than the book. Ready? Go. Sometimes they're better than the book. Norm? Reviews. Reviews is exactly right. That's right. Well, Kristen, we have some nice parting gifts for you. Thank Thanks you very for much. Again, I had a great time. Thank Enjoyed you. having you very much. We really did. Come on down, Norm. Norm has uh, $500 for the game. You're doing all right. Congratulations. Yeah. But during the break there, he said, I just got back from Las Vegas, and what was the first word up? Blackjack. So that helped you a little bit. But uh, you're going to have a chance of $1,500. We'll take a break. Come right back at you right after this. Stay with me. Come on. If you live in Los Angeles or you're planning to visit the L.A. area and you would like to become a contestant on Scrabble, call area code 213-284-8644. Scrabble and Chuck All right, Norm Ted going to kick off the show on Monday. We don't have time to do it today. Uh, but it's time for our home viewer sweepstakes drawing. Now, if you remember, we're looking for a nine-letter word. This is the last day. We find... Uh, uh, we gave you th all these scrambled letters, V-E-A-R-O-L-T-S-E, -E, and then we gave you five clues. I'm not going to tell you what all those are, but anyway, if you wrote in and you sent that in and you gave it to me and it's all spelled right, I'm going to give you $1,000. The answer was elevators. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to go over here and pick one out. Right in the middle. Pardon my back. Elevators. Perfectly spelled. This is A.J. Stewart in Rhode Island. So, you got $1,000. Our congratulations. Thanks for playing the game and writing in. Thank you all for joining us today. We'll be back on Monday to kick this thing off again. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.
Now, Jack Nicklaus, Chichi Rodriguez, Gary Player, and the most experienced golfers in the world tee off at the PGA Seniors Championship next on USA. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tennis speaking. Scrabble is a Reds-friendly production.